the eruption of Tambora in 1815, which led to the year without a summer in 1816. If we were to, let's say, by a factor of 10 or one, one order of magnitude to increase the environmental consequences to encompass the effects of an impact of a half mile diameter object or a half kilometer object. Well, we're looking at greater consequences than the Tambora eruption. What does that mean? It could mean that, yeah, you've got probably a million or a few million people killed either in the tsunamis or in the immediate effects of the blast. But then you're going to have a couple of years where you're going to have a cosmic winter and you're going to have widespread agricultural failures, likely on a global scale. And this is going to be followed by a famine. This is a very realistic possibility that you would then have famine in the wake of an event like this. And that famine leading to malnutrition would then also lead to the compromising of one's immune systems, which then creates the conditions for pestilence and diseases.